Hail, children of the night. I am the Beard Maggot. Tonight we're going to do something a little different on the Maggot Show. Frugal is going to put on a dress and do a lap dance for our CEO, for he has angered us and we think he needs to be punished. Ah, I feel so pretty. Give yourself to the dance, Frugal. Let the hate flow through you. Should I pretend I'm a militant feminist? Oh, you don't want to overdo it. As for the rest of you paltry mortals, I suppose I should allow you some small shred of entertainment for your loyalty in tuning in this week. So while Frugal dishes out psychological pain with pink frilly lace, I am going to read articles from the Clag Brzezinski Press. Let's see, find something interesting. Something that isn't about whores! I guess we have to go to page two. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look, one about me! Beard Maggot ends all life on Torellis Colony. No survivors were reported today after the firestorm that took place on the Narks Blosh Colony of Torellis 4, the third in a series of inhabited worlds scourged of life by the Beard Maggot. When asked about this latest attack, Maggot was reported to say, I was bored. I just love publicity. Let's see, uh, price of quasi cheese goes up, uh, 99 cent asphalt pie at Wingers, uh, that's about it for the economic news. Uh, Central interstellar traffic jam ends when Narksplosh frigate detonates quantum implosion device. Sounds like their decisiveness has improved. Caligula International Corporate Takeover. Hmm, this should be interesting. The announcement was met with fanfare today as officials from Caligula International released the details surrounding their takeover of Sweet Pea Incorporated, former owner of the largest chain of daycare centers in the galaxy. Caligula plans to renovate these centers while cutting care prices in half due to their revolutionary plan to use the children as cultists and living sacrifices in their vile ceremonies. Caligula stock rose 20% almost immediately upon this announcement. Cool, that means I just made a bunch of money. I own, like, 2,000 shares of Caligula. Anyway, going on, more about whores. Ugh, might be something in the air down there this week. Let's see, uh, game review section, a review of Mech Commander. It reads, I wonder if Admiral Harrison gives head. Oh, my God! I'm sorry, folks. Granted, piles of gratuitous filth aren't really that uncommon for the Clag Brzezinski press, but they seem unusually concentrated today. So we're going to commercial until Frugal comes back. Da, 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 da. Beaner and Weenus Auto Parts. Optional mounts and repairs for ground, air, and siege vehicles. 45 different chemical injection systems for when you just can't shake the local law enforcement. And over 50 specialty weapons options for when you don't want to shake them. And we repair air conditioners, too. Beaner and Weenus Auto Parts. Call us today. Remember, inspections are just around the corner, and we promise not to find those weapons that just happen to be illegal in other zones. <laughs> We're back. Frugal, say something witty yet insightful. I need to take a dump. And lo, I am enlightened. Let us read some letters. This one's from our old pal Fjork. It says... If Frugal was grown in a demonic spawning pit, the makers of which may have been killed in a car wreck, how could his mommy have taught him to make Magatonian barbecue sauce? Well, folks, there's something you have to understand about Frugal. He is a lying bitch. When he says mommy, he means his left hand. And you don't want to know where the name came from, believe me. But it's such a nice story! Nice in that trauma-induced schizophrenia kind of way. Ah! Uh. We don't care about him, do we, Mommy? Stop that. Apologize to Mommy. Ack, Mommy has a beard. Shut up! Next letter. This one is from Kaz. No! Well spoken. Next letter. We've got one from the International Academy of the Sith. I smell spam! Normally I would think so, too, but it says they want me to be a teacher. Really? Yeah. Too bad it would require effort. Yep. Magatonians and effort are like gasoline and plutonium. If you try to mix them, you're just going to end up blowing something up. Well spoken. And with that snippet of wisdom, we shall end our transmission. 
Tune in next week or I'll lick your face.